Hello everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning back into my channel. Today I wanted to share the story of Latoya Agri with you. Latoya Agri was a 41 year old woman from Virginia, sorry, who was um, unfortunately murdered over the weekend, Friday, September the 17th, 2021, by her 21 year old son, Elijah Smith. Um, Smith is currently being held without bond on second degree murder charges. I wanted to bring awareness to this uh, case because there has been a lot of stories like these in the recent months. And I feel like maybe if we talk about it more, um, get it put out in the media more, that we can tune in and, and maybe check in with our mental health professionals or make sure that our family members are seeking the right treatment options for themselves if we notice that they're out of balance. Um, unfortunately, Latoya didn't make it to her performance this weekend as she was a member of the band True Soul um, that um, performs in DC and surrounding areas. Unfortunately, um, she wasn't able to bring awareness to domestic violence, but was met with her own demise um, due to the hands of her own son after a verbal argument. Um, so I want to offer my condolences to her family members, her band members, everyone that knew Latoya. Um, this is an unfortunate situation and uh, praying um, everyone finds comfort and finds a way to successfully deal with the tragedy tragedy that occurred. Um, Latoya was killed again on Friday, September the 17th, 2021. She was found in her driveway with a gunshot wound to her upper body. Um, the paramedics were not able to keep her alive and she did succumb to her injuries. I'm going to share um, a news story um, that I found in regards to the case. And um, before I go, I'll just offer a little bit of my opinion on the situation. Um, I feel like um, it's very scary knowing that now um, our children are turning their guns and their anger and rage um, on us. Um, so I just wanted to get this story out here so more of us can see that this is a an unhealthy trend and maybe we can you know maybe pay more attention to our family members when we're having disputes or we're not getting along just make sure that we're all um, balanced enough to to deal with life and to deal with issues so that um, if we do have an argument or a disagreement that it doesn't end in someone losing their life so that's uh, my take on the story. I don't want to say too much. I'm sure this is um, hard for her family to deal with. And again, I offer my biggest condolences. Um, everything that I'm sharing is public knowledge. And I really just wanted to bring awareness to her story and, and get her name out there so that she's not forgotten. Um, what a beautiful soul. And um, I'll just go ahead and start the video now. But please... Um, Subscribe, like, and comment below if you have anything that you would like to share. Thank you. A Pennsylvania woman who was known for her powerful singing voice was shot and killed early Saturday morning. Police say her son pulled the trigger. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder has more on the murder of Latoya Acre and how her band is honoring her. Her voice was larger than life. Latoya Acri sang in the band True Soul alongside Caesar Roy. She had a lot of confidence issues in the beginning. She had lost, I don't know, 100 pounds. She got a new boyfriend. She was really, really happy. It seemed like things were just turned around for her, you know, and um, this happens. I was a gunshot wound to the chest. Early Saturday morning, 41 year old Latoya Acri was shot and killed in the driveway of her Spotsylvania County home. Her son, 21 year old Elijah Smith, was arrested and charged with her murder. Roy says he just saw her hours earlier and couldn't believe the news. Obviously, God had a better plan, um, a bigger concert for her to, to sing in. 
Before she was killed, LaToya and the band were preparing for a big show coming up this Saturday at an event to raise awareness about domestic violence. Now the band will dedicate the show to their late singer, who police say died a victim of domestic violence. Reporting in Spotsylvania County, Drew Wilder, News 4. So sad. The Spotsylvania County Sheriff's Office says before that shooting, Smith had just been released from jail where he was waiting trial on assault and battery charges. That charge was not domestic in nature.